coach, um, you know, you guys seem to respond well. You guys went on a 7 0 run in the first quarter, they went on one, then you came back to the second quarter. Your, your team, you, you never really trailed, even though it was close in the first half. You guys responded well to everything, didn't you? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, if we, if our second rotation on defense, like I was just talking about in the first half, was a little clunky in transition, they got some easy layups. If you were to take that out, I think we would have been holding them to pretty much foul shots. Um, so that halftime, that's really what we focused on, was that second rotation, which was much better in the second half, coupled with the fact that their, their point guard got hurt, um, which hurts, and obviously our press was that much more effective, and uh, we started to separate there in the third quarter. Now, you got a pretty young team, but uh, a senior really came up big to start the second half, and KK hit those big shots, huh? Yeah, so um, we're so blessed. We I feel we've got the best backcourt in Class C, maybe even B, um, with Wills, Trapani, and Medor. One of those kids can be off any given night, but two of those kids will be on, and that's how it's been all season. Tonight, uh, Wills came up big right in the third quarter. I think she hit two in that third quarter, I think. I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and that, we feed off that. We're an outside shooting team, and we're a defensive team. We feed off plays. Really good defensive stops and threes. We seem to just feed right into it. Now, what's this mean to this community? First, first time since 2011. What's it mean to the school and the community? Basketball is, is very important to this community. And uh, the girls program back in 2010-11 made some really good runs with the Wolfington kid and Tina Bach. And then we, uh, the program kind of petered out. The, the theater program dried up, which is where some of us went down to address that. Spent the last 10 years, you know, building that up. Now you're seeing these seniors on down were the results of third grade travel, AAU, basketball clinics all over the state. And uh, here it is, you know, last year was the COVID Cup champ. This year we were able to go all the way through to the states.